Okay. All right, well, it looks like we just kind of, uh, you know, kind of algebraically arrived at our uh, derivative equation. And um, this is, this originally came from, um, you know, our original goal, I guess, was to find f prime of x. Um, so we wanted f prime, or actually we wanted d dx of x squared. Okay, and this is probably usually the first one you're going to find. So let's go ahead and let's grab another piece of paper and let's see if we can sort of crank this thing out. So, you know, we have the limit as h goes to zero. And what are we going to do? Uh, you know, back from our limit rules, we kind of found that you usually have to do a little bit of uh, messing around because there's usually a catch to just simple substitution. And it looks like in this case, uh, it, it would be in the denominator. Uh, being giving us a zero denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this um, term right here and see if it does anything. So I'm going to rewrite the whole limit. goes to zero. You're going to have to do that. And I'm just going to expand this. I'm just going to go... I'm just going to do that right up there. Okay, and sometimes if it's... You know, this one you could do probably in your head, but some of the more complicated ones you might... I'm just using the FOIL method again, that's, that's all I'm doing. Um, okay, so I ended up there, so let me go ahead and write that. x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Make sure you parenthesize that. Okay. And it's going to be over h, isn't it? Okay, so it's starting to look like uh, these two uh, x squared terms will cancel out. And it'll leave me just per with pretty much the center term. Okay, so let me go ahead and simplify it down just a little more. Remember that as soon as we get rid of the parentheses up here, these x squared terms are gonna are gonna leave us. Now, just uh, back from here, this is why you need good algebra skills to be a calculus student. Um, it's because little stuff like this. Let's divide this fraction up. Okay, remember this rule. And when you divide that. Make sure you either put parentheses or put a limit in front of each term, okay? All right, so now we got that, and it looks like these h's right here will cancel out. And this is really just h times h, when you think about it, you know, h squared. So then these h's cancel out, so then we're left with the limit as h goes to zero of 2x plus h. Remember, you got to put the parentheses around or rewrite the limit. I think it's a little easier to uh, rewrite um, the parentheses. Now it looks like we can take this limit. We can go ahead and shrink h down to nothing without doing any damage. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. And then we're ended up, we end up with 2x. Okay. So what we say is f prime of x equals 2x. That's the notation for derivative for right now. And there's a couple other ones we'll get into. So I want, I want you to kind of come back here and let's go and let's look back at our little graph here that we wrote, we drew. All right, now we found out that the slope of this thing is 2x. Okay, now, basically if, we, if, I, if I plug any one of these x values from down here into this derivative formula, this, this 2x, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the rate at which this function changes. okay So let me just redraw it over here and I'm not going to do it you know highly accurate. I'm gonna do it accurate enough, but just so you'll get the picture. but say here we get x here's that function. you know there was x squared and 
you know the the slope here um, of this line essentially it's it's not really the same like like I mean of course it'll keep going in like down here for instance it's just about zero right here it's positive but right here it gets pretty darn steep doesn't it so the slope is kind of changing you know it's, it's ever changing depending on what value of X I use I, I'll get a different value of slope you know I might get a really steep one that would be a very uh, uh, you know the slope would have a very uh, high number or I might have a real shallow one you know down here you know and it's just barely crawling up it's got a real shallow um, you know it's got a real small grade to it so it might be a real small number um, so it should make sense that the uh, rate of change of a curved line is going to have a variable in it somewhere okay so because because the slope is changing now if I go over here and I draw, you know, a straight line. Well, the slope is the same throughout the whole thing. And, you know, and this one is y equals x. Okay, so so does, so no matter what x value I put in here, the slope's going to be the same on this line. Okay, and that's you know like uh, just going back to the difference between uh, algebra and calculus is um, that you know you'll have uh, that sort of thing. Okay, so. I encourage you to go ahead and experiment a little bit. Take f of x equals 2x, okay, and let's, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, graph that function. And if you just put in uh, whatever x value uh, you're interested at that particular point, then you'll have the uh, derivative, okay? I'm going to do another video in this next, all right?